thirsting for time travel which would finally even the odds between them and the Doctor, as well as generally enabling wider Dalek conquest of the universe, the Daleks allied themselves with the renegade Time Lord Shazar. Shazar gave them the knowledge and the means to build a fleet of TARDISes to conquer the galaxy. The fourth Doctor and Sarah Jane Smith foiled the plan by having the Daleks damage their space station's cooling system, as it was very close to a sun. The Daleks escaped with their TARDIS fleet but all ships exploded by Serenium, destroying them. Comic. Return of the Daleks. The seventh Doctor reflected that the Daleks had trouble with time travel because the Time Worm, who they called, Golian Actana, the Twister of Paths, changed the possibilities all the time. The Daleks sent a task force against the Time Worm but she consumed them. Pros. Time Worm. Revelation. According to the Daleks themselves, they made a treaty with early Time Lords that allowed them to develop simple time travel, while also keeping them from being scooped out of time for entertainment. Pros. Dead Romance. In the game of Razalon. TV. The Five Doctors. When the treaty was updated at a much later point in history, Chris Quedge told Christine Summerfield about this original treaty. But, by the time she wrote Dead Romance, she couldn't remember what the Daleks had promised the Time Lords in return. According to what the Daleks had told Quedge, the original treaty had been broken when the Time Lords tried to wipe their species, prose, Dead Romance, by sending the Fourth Doctor to Scaro's past. TV. Genesis of the Daleks. The Daleks managed to develop primitive time travel in the form of taranium powered Dalek time machines of their own, which resembled cruder version of the Time Lords' own timeships. Under orders from the Dalek Prime, the Black Dalek leader sent an execution squad, pros, the chase, of pursuer Daleks, audio, the Daleks, in a Dalek time machine to pursue the TARDIS throughout history and kill the First Doctor and his companions, seeking revenge for the liberation of Earth in the 22nd century, pros, the chase, after deciding the Doctor was the greatest enemy. After the Doctor and his companions left the Space Museum of Zeros, the Daleks readied their time machine to exterminate the greatest foes. TV. The Space Museum. The squad chased them to the planet of Iridius, New York City in 1966, the Mary Celeste, the Festival of Ghana, and, finally, to Mechanus. The Daleks created a robot version of the Doctor to infiltrate and kill the real Doctor and his companions, but it was destroyed. Trying to hunt down the Doctor themselves, the squad ended up attacking the Mechanoids in their Mechanoid City. TV. The Chase kicking off a long-standing rivalry between the Mechanoids and Daleks. Comic. The World That Waits. During the ensuing Mechanoid incident, the Dalek leader slipped away from the battle with the Mechanoids after it realized that the assassination squad had no chance of winning. As the last surviving Dalek and in an act of self-sacrifice, it hacked into the city's computer systems and set the whole place to self-destruct, hoping to kill the Doctor and his companions in the blast. However, the Dalek squad had thus failed in its mission, as the Doctor and his friends escaped from the chaos. Two of the Doctor's companions, Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright, used the Dalek time machine to travel back to their own time before destroying it. TV, the chase, prose, the chase, thus crippling the Dalek time researchers until the time destructor incident. Prose. Mission to the unknown. Some human historians believe this mission had been launched later in Dalek history claiming that the Black Dalek leader had launched this operation after the Third Doctor destroyed a Gold Dalek. Pros. Dalek. The astounding untold history of the greatest enemies of the universe. A time squad of Daleks decided to exterminate the human race before they could challenge the Daleks, by channeling an excess of energy into the receivers on Earth in 2025. This would lead to the formation of a giant force field around Earth, which would counteract the effect of gravity. The Moon would be forced out of Earth orbit. This would in turn cause the Earth to shift on its axis of rotation, leading to highly destructive floods, earthquakes and tectonic events which would eventually wipe out all life on the planet. The Fourth Doctor and Leela stopped them by redirecting the energy transfer to their ship as they fled. Audio. Energy of the Daleks.